all and welcome to Wild Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we'll be making this beautiful little cravat. <laughs> Maybe not the red one but we are going to be making the cravat today. If you are joining us new today, thank you so much and welcome. <laughs> um, we have been discussing our regulars and I <laughs> have been discussing making this cravat for a very long time probably a couple of weeks maybe three weeks now oh sorry about the delay guys but we are making it today yes no actually we're making part one today <laughs> part two um, will be just joining the uh, pieces and adding a border so that very basic it'll be very quick and it'll be very easy but this one here it's going to show us how to make one panel and then you're going to go away and make the other panel so all you have to do is copy one side to the other now the reason we're doing it this way firstly let me explain a cravat to you uh, who was it that popped on one of my vlogs the other day vlog number 10 by the way guys if you're interested in um, hearing and seeing things that are funny and silly uh, go ahead and see vlog number 10 <laughs> yours truly um, all I had to do was introduce one sheep thing soapy thing and I kind of lost the plot and I do apologize to my regulars <laughs> and for those of you who did find it funny and enjoyed it thank you <laughs> for those of you who thought it was a bit silly I'm sorry anyway <laughs> getting back to the <laughs> the cravat um classy Kim I think the lady's name is thank you classy Kim for constantly um viewing our tutorials here at Wow Crochet and thank you for your comments um she mentioned the history behind the cravat um, it's not a it's not a very popular item worn these days and I'm trying to bring it back it is an old-fashioned kind of a tie thing and that's why I'd like to bring it back I make the cravats with cotton you can make it with anything you like but I like to make it usually with a thinner cotton because a cravat is not worn like a scarf a scarf you can just sort of wrap around and a few times and it curls up in a big ball but this one not so much a cravat is worn and I'll show you how so that you know you don't have to you can wear it any way you like and you just pop it over there like that like a scarf that's fine too um, but a cravat itself is almost like a tie like a man's tie but it, we're not exactly folding it up like a man's tie what do I usually do I usually put how do I do it that's right uh, the shorter side stays underneath your longer side goes on top you pop this longer side through that way pull it up like that and wear it almost like a tie but not so lift it up flatten that out a little bit I've got straps here sorry guys <laughs> flatten it out a little bit then you bring the other top layer over flatten that out a bit and you can wear it that way okay now I made this particular cravat for um, I had a day last year at work where we had to wear yellow and or red and gold and yours truly doesn't really like yellow so I thought I'll put as minimal yellow <laughs> as I could and I just used my 1980s red now that's how it should be worn and that's how I wore it all day on the day like it was a really cold day because I don't like wearing things around my neck however I do like the cravats because they sit nicely you don't fuss with them they don't blow away in the wind it stays in there because it's kind of like tied up in a little knot there now you can wear it that way or you could wear it the longer way there put that smaller one right smaller one smaller side through there give it a tug and you could wear it like a, a tie Okay, see it's really long down there. <laughs> I just lifted it up to you. See, I'm not sure if you can see the whole thing in the uh, camera there. But it's all always worn like having a little knot there. I personally like it the other way. Okay, where the longer side, I actually like them the both the same size. You can do it on top or you can do it on the bottom. It doesn't matter which way. It's entirely up to you. It, it is actually better to bring, um, to bring it, under and over rather than over and under and then you just flatten each side out I hope this is not going on too long for you guys <laughs> I'll just I'll be real quick whoops wrong side and there you go I personally like it like that where the top part is shorter than the bottom part so you get the um, 
it's like an effect you get like a little special effect look looks like you've used more yellow as well when really you've only used one two three layers of yellow in this tutorial you will be doing the first side only uh, they are made in two pieces you'll be doing the first side only you'll be doing all the way up to that yellow right there then you have to go away do another 30 rows it'll be explained in the tutorial um, cast off and then do another panel exactly the same but don't cast off on your second panel because you're going to use that last um, row to attach to your first panel now the reason we do panels now with this one here I did my one panel was shorter than the other because when I did it I thought it wasn't long enough so I did the second panel a lot longer instead of undoing it and I'm picking where I weaved in the end and everything I just thought no nah, forget it I'll just do one side a bit longer and you can't even tell because it's hidden up under your hair anyway or around your neck even so um, the way it works is the reason we do two panels we could do one that goes all the way around but because this is a double crochet v-stitch I don't know if I can show you that without going all blurry oh maybe too light clever it's a double crochet v-stitch so your stitches look like like that kind of like that right or that that way sorry oh that way I'm trying to work out the v-stitch right like that so when you're doing it that way the front is looking that way but when you're turning it around the other way your v-stitch is upside down you don't want it to be upside down you want them to be even when you're tying up your cravat and it looks like that nothing worse than having the cravat look even here and then upside down the other way not a professional look okay so guys all you will need to have for this tutorial is your two colors the purple which is the main color for me you can use any color you like and the cream or a lighter color which is the second color or the contrast color if you will it does look better having the lighter as the contrast however if you want to make it the opposite ways if you want to add more color whatever you want to do if you want to do it in variegated and then add a plain color in between your variegated hey why not you create you know what you like okay you also need your crochet well, we'll do the scissors first yes you will need your darning sewing needle yes you will need your hook sizes now in reference to the cotton that I used, I used a Bendigo Woolen Mills 8 ply cotton. And I, with that cotton, you should be using a size 4mm hook, which that one there would be, and still is, <laughs> would be and still is. Um, I used a 3.5. Now, the reason being, I'm going to get a close up there, 3.5. The reason being is I wanted to have a thinner look than this. I found as a cravat, I wanted it to be a little bit thinner so what I did was I cut out one or two rows I can't even remember one or two V stitches and I think I kind of messed up in the beginning and only made it nine I wanted to make ten V stitch sets across but I think I made nine doesn't matter in fact I can show you where I'm up to okay there it is so it's a lot thinner than the red one was and the red one is because I've still got it so it's a lot thinner than that however the cravat does look nice thinner if you want to do it thicker just add two more chains per section right so across here we had I think I had 21 chains yes I did if you want to make it bigger make it 23 chains 25 chains etc etc 23, 25, 25, yeah, 25 27 29 you make it as wide as you want but I only made it 21 because I wanted a smaller look this look here is a 23 stitch so you chain on 23 you get that look okay that is all I want to say about it guys I don't want to talk too much because the tutorial is quite long and I do apologize again this chatter box let's get started with our double crochet V stitch cravat okay let's move our cravat out the way don't forget you will need your purple yarn first you can pop your cream yarn or white or whatever color you're using all the way at the back and leave it there for a while because you may not need it for a few minutes you will need your scissors yes yes you will need that darning sewing weaving needle whatever you want to call it and now I did mention I think I mentioned in the promo I hope I did but otherwise I'll mention it now anyway ordinarily the eight ply bendigo woolen mills calls for a four millimeter hook 
but yours truly because I like the look of the 3.5 when it comes to the cravat I'm using this one so stitches may be a little bit more difficult to see I'll try and get as close up as I can without them looking <laughs> square getting square eyes with it um, all right so you will need to know how to do chain stitch uh, double crochet or double crochet V stitch you will need to know how to do slip stitch and you'll need to know how to do um, what's the other one mm, slip knot hello wake up Mary <laughs> um, and you'll also need to know how to block it at the end you will also be doing a border at the end of that the border is very very basic it is just a single crochet a border of single crochet we could probably add a fancy border if you guys want to add one in the future but for now we are doing the cravat and then we are just adding a basic single row of single crochet for the border all right well, let's get started um, by the way if you're new to the channel welcome <laughs> and you're not sure how to do these stitches please uh, check out the description box down below I will have links to all of these stitches okay and you can have a practice come back to us in the meantime all of us have been waiting a long time for this so let's get started quick slip knot over the finger once over the finger twice your tail end is the one dangling in front of you okay all right you pass that back end halfway over hold it there pass the other end all the way over and you formed your loop there are other ways of doing it I may actually show you one day quite a few different ways of making your loop but that's the way I do it mostly that's the way I do it oh too close too close sorry um, you will need to chain up 21 so one oh a little bit more of a close-up yarn over hook two yarn over hook pull through the loop three yarn over hook pull through the loop four yarn over hook five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yarn over hook. We are going to put our first double crochet in the third stitch from the hook. So that's your first stitch right there. And then there's your second right there. I'm going to get a close up for you. And your third is right there. So you're putting your hook. In between those two loops there a yarn over hook pull up a loop yarn over hook pull through two loops on your hook and then yarn over hook pull through the last two loops we're going to do another one in the same spot okay so far so easy so far now the next bit the only tricky thing about the next bit is making sure you get your stitch in every second stitch so that's the first one right there the stick second one <laughs> the second one is right there so yarn over hook skip that first stitch right there and pop it in the very next one right there okay that's your next double crochet all right you're going to put another one in the same stitch and so far you have formed two sets i know that's got three there looks like three but wait till you see it at the end so yarn over hook we're going to skip that chain right there be careful because if you go straight into that one there it'll look like it's skipped there but it's not so you've got to that's the actual stitch there so you've got to jump into that next one there okay i'm hoping this makes sense okay one and two okay yarn over hook skip the first one and go into your next one and you do two double crochets in there one and two the two double crochets is the double crochet v stitch blank a uh, blanket stitch oh look what i've done i've split the yarn right there naughty so the first one was okay but the second one i split so there's your second one right there no splitting okay now skip that one and jump into your next so all you're doing is skipping a stitch and doing two double crochets in every second stitch okay <laughs> hopefully it works let's have a look 
and that is what you're looking like at the moment okay so we're skipping one and then we're going into the next one initially what we're doing is we're doing 10 sets of double crochet V stitches okay that's pretty much all you're doing skip one jump into the next if you end up with a larger piece by one double crochet V stitch it doesn't matter because the original cravat has 11 sets I'm doing 10 when it comes to cravats um, sometimes an extra thick look really isn't that good of a look um, and I'll show you the difference I think I might have shown you in the promo um, if not I'll show you at the end but I'm pretty sure I showed you in a promo how to wear your cravat it's not like a scarf and it's a little bit different than a scarf so put your double crochet V stitch in there one and two easy so far isn't it yes then we double crochet V stitch in our very last stitch now I'm gonna to have to look at the pattern because yours truly has forgotten what I do let's have a look and there's your first stitch okay well let me just show you firstly what you have done you pretty much know it Ooh, too far you pretty much know what you've done you've done cluster set there one two three four five six seven eight nine and well you kind of don't have ten really but doesn't matter let's have a look and have a look at the actual pattern itself all right so what I oh, sorry it's too far out of whack my apologies guys what I wanted initially was a um, a cravat a little tiny bit smaller than this one because when you put this one here on it's rather thick and I think that cravat should be that little tiny bit thinner you can actually keep going uh, if you started off your chains with 21 just start with 23 or 25 or whatever and you can make it as big as you like or as wide as you like I want to do it this width because later once you put the um, border on it gives it a little bit more edge and then it's kind of a little bit how do I explain it too thick for a cravat cravat is not like a scarf okay so don't stress too much guys if it's one set less or one set more it doesn't matter again entirely up to you it's about your taste now there's your piece that we've just done we're going to turn it that way if that helps okay we're going to chain up two once I get all sorted with my thread so we are chaining up two one two and then we're going to jump in between you know those two double crochets we put together in one we're going to jump in between that and we're going to put a set of two double crochets now with the original scarf cravat so to speak sorry I keep calling it a scarf now with the original cravat we did one row of purple I just want to show you quickly I'm lying we did one row of red <laughs> not purple we did one row of the red and then we jumped straight into doing one row of the yellow okay I'll show you the length I want to do two rows of red purple in my case <laughs> sorry guys I'm getting all confused two rows of purple and then a row of the cream um, it just seems to give it more of effect if you give that extra that extra row but again if you want to do the the cream in this row you can let's blow that up a little more okay so you've got your two double crochets in that space and two double crochets between the next two double crochets so all I'm going to say is put a double crochet V stitch in every double crochet V stitch you have until you get to the end of the row. Now I don't know if I mentioned this when I first discussed the cravat. It really is quite easy. I know, I know. I do a lot of the easy stuff and I have been doing a lot of double crochet V stitch looks when it comes to blankets when it comes to cravats when it comes to whatever else I've been doing <laughs> I can't even remember the other things um, and this is probably one of the last V stitch kind of patterns that we are doing for a little while I may end up doing um, more in the future or something different but for the next six months we won't be working on once we finish this and the border to the other blanket 
we won't be working on the double crochet v-stitch at all for a while a little bit cold and nasty here in melbourne at the moment <laughs> terrible storm on the way home cold 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 so we are going to put a double cluster set in there one not a double cluster set <laughs> double crochet v-stitch in there getting all confused aren't i and then we are going to pop remember those three chains that we first started off with okay we are going to find the very top chain now how do we do that a lot of people get confused with this last stitch all right there is your double crochet right there so above it right there is your v stitch that you would normally double crochet in but you need the one just before it okay so i'm not going to do it because i haven't put my yarn over my hook yet or have i i have so you need the one just before it oh it's too close now sorry guys so you need that one just before it grab the loop pull it through see your stitch right there this is one right before it okay then you finish off your double crochet I just want to show you that's going to change in a minute because we're going to change threads oh sorry okay so there's your set you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine nine is perfect actually i would like it a lot smaller okay uh, well i say smaller thinner again we are using cotton um if you used a four ply cotton that'll be even smaller so you might want to do a few more cluster sets the benefit of using a four ply cotton you could wear your cravat in summer spring autumn or fall in some countries and winter true you can wear it through all of those seasons okay um i would probably suggest that this is a, a summer or spring item okay so now i know we struggle to find that third stitch right there but we're taking this undone and i'll tell you why because we are going to add our cream at the end of this row so you yarn over hook you pop it back into that slip stitch that we were looking for or that stitch we were looking for pull up your loop pull the yarn through two loops on your hook hold it there grab your new color pop oh let's do this blow it out a little bit so you can see pop it over the hook like so pull the loop through give it all a big tug now those threads the purple and the loose end of your uh, cream hold them at the back in your hand it stops it from moving around hold it there and then chain up two one two now you're going to chain up two after every row so if you hear me say chain three <laughs> don't listen to me <laughs> occasionally i say chain three because it's what i'm used to now you're doing a double crochet v stitch in the very first double crochet v stitch you come to right there double crochet v stitch into the next it's a very basic pattern isn't it guys you know if you want to go faster you can get to the end of the row and wait for me there i'm just going to speed it up a little bit double crochet v stitch in through every double crochet v stitch there are nine all nine of them <laughs> to our newbies i hope that your journey is um is coming along with crochet to those of you who who know me will know i can be a chatterbox <laughs> and i can also be a little bit of a giggly gertie <laughs> if that's a word we can use i know i get all giggly sometimes some things that make me laugh i can't control myself <laughs> like the last vlog the very last vlog that we did here in <laughs> well crochet vlog 10 don't even mention the word sheep <laughs> but go and check out vlog 10 and you'll know what i'm already starting to get giggly now um, and you'll know what i mean okay so we are at the end of the row we have our very last double crochet v stitch set there so we're going to put one last set in there one whoops don't lose a stitch in line i just did i'm clumsy i'm very clumsy okay let's try it again one two now remember our chains from before they're very small they're very tight but they're okay all you need to do is not in that stitch there you need to do a double crochet on that very top chain right there a little bit tight mine 
because that's my <laughs> type crocheting talking out at us and there you go all right that is the end oh no don't pull it through the last two loops sorry start off your double crochet pull it further we'll, we'll do it again so my newbies don't get confused <laughs> sorry pop it in that chain pull up a loop yarn over hook pull through two hold it there guys i'm rushing a little bit because we've had massive storm here in melbourne and i'm waiting for the power to go out on us <laughs> so i'm hoping it doesn't because there goes my lighting um so there you go you've got two left what we're going to do and yours truly forgot to cut the purple before when i uh, did the end of that row <laughs> i forgot to cut the purple wondering why it's getting all tangled up here okay so we are going to re-add the purple okay I'm pretty sure it's only one row. Oh, I better check. Yeah, it's only one row of the white. Okay. You you could actually do any design you like. But this design here is the one I like. I like using it. It gives it a bit of a highlight effect when you're only using one row. And uh, That's what happens when you're doing it with a uh, double crochet V-stitch, when you're changing row by row. So you're pulling a loop through, like we did before when we changed to the white. So you hold the tail end of the purple that you just started, and the and the white at the back okay if you can turn your work chain up one and two and we're doing a double crochet v stitch in that very first one <clears throat> and in the next one the next set With the cravat and the way it's made, okay, it's made in two separate pieces, which I think I mentioned in the promo. Um, and we're going to do that first. And what we'll do, we'll get to a um, part where um, I will tell you exactly how many rows to do once we get to the end of the, the design. And you'll continue those rows. Then you'll come back to me. No, you won't. You'll make a second one exactly the same. And then you'll come back to me and we'll pop them together and then we'll do a lovely little basic border. Okay? And then we'll wash and block. Why? Well, you don't have to, but I will. <laughs> because I believe in washing and blocking everything. <laughs> Again, not necessary. A lot of people say, well, I've never washed and blocked and I've been crocheting for 105 years. And, you know, they've probably only been crocheting for three years. But still, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't wash and block and that's okay too guys okay we're at the end of the row now it's going to be a little bit tighter because um, we've got these tail ends to worry about eventually all right so remember we're not putting the double crochet in that stitch we are putting it in the stitch just after it or before it depending on what side you're looking at it okay now you don't have to cut anything here we are going to turn our work all right chain up one and two gee I hope I did two before not three and we're going to put a double cluster set in there I've done it again not a double cluster set a double crochet v-stitch in there you know what I'm thinking of I'm thinking of our blankets <laughs> the blanket that we made and the round blanket both of them and the mandala <laughs> okay that's what you're going to do you are going to I'm going to stop and show you in a minute that way you don't have to keep watching me do a gazillion rows. All right. Oh, by the way, I forgot to cut that white. I would uh, cut that now because you've got to, um, you're going to need it for in about three more rows. All right. So where we're up to here, just so you know what we're doing, probably would have been better off using a white base and not the blue one today. It's very hard to see with the purple. Okay. You did two rows of your purple, one row of the white, cream whatever you want to call it one row of the purple and you're halfway through that second row now from memory I think you need two okay once you get to the end of this second row it does look a lot thicker than that I'm wondering if this is a four ply under here okay once you get to the end of this second row there's one two three four one two three four yeah so once you get to the end of the second row you do two more rows and then we shall meet up all right guys here we are at the end of the fourth row remember we needed four so it was one two three four rows 
if you're not at the fourth row go ahead and do it and we'll catch us up in the meantime we're going to finish off this row double crochet v-stitch in our second last well sorry in our last set and bring her up again and we're going to put a double crochet v-stitch in the stitch right there make that one a little bit loose for a change very unusual for me isn't it <laughs> don't pull it through we pulled it through the first two loops we are going to add our white cream white whatever you want to call it so grab your loop over the hook pull it through the threads on the hook okay now grab your purple and your cream ends there hold it there turn your work hold chain one and two all right now you're going to put your double crochet v stitch in your very first set so it's really a basic stitch the only thing different that you can see here is that we're changing colors that's all nothing is different everything is the same so it's quite a repetitive stitch it's the kind of stitch you can do when you're on a train talking to your friend on the way to the city i'm trying to think of scenarios now or when you are watching your favorite show tv show or when you are listening to um, people talking to you or whatever it's such an easy stitch that you shouldn't forget or you shouldn't slip or miss one okay well you can you know depending if you get too distracted and in, into your favorite or too engrossed into your favorite movie well maybe like i do i like to sit and watch a movie very late at night um while i'm crocheting usually i'm crocheting the items late at night i'm crocheting things like um personal items or items for uh, other people that are family and friends not so much for jobs um jobs i like to sit quiet and focused and when i'm awake and fresh <laughs> refreshed okay one and two it's kind of looking a little tight now i'm pulling at it i think too much there we go oh now it's looking in unison how pretty is that it's coming real nice isn't it guys so we are going to put a double crochet v-stitch in that chain right there hold it there whoops i keep forgetting to cut the end of the row before so we'll give it a cut okay sorry guys cut at the end of the row <laughs> all right so now we are going to re-add the purple there hold your threads again turn your work over chain up your two one and two i have a funny feeling i chained three in that one but it doesn't matter and it doesn't matter again put your double crochet v-stitch in the next space it doesn't matter if you accidentally chained up three this is a giving pattern so it can give and take a few chains here and there and once we put the, the little border on you won't even notice it okay oh by the way <laughs> cut that end that white end right there <laughs> cut it <laughs> get it out of the way because i keep forgetting to cut now I'm going to just do one more and show you something so you know what you're doing all that loop up so what you have initially done is two rows of your purple one row of your cream four rows of your purple and one row of your cream like so let me just pop that on there so it looks the same all right that's what you've done so what I want you to do now and then we've started that purple i want you to do four rows of your purple and i'll meet you up all right guys here we are at the end of that fourth row oh i should blow it out so you can see what you've done you've done your two rows purple one cream four purple one cream four purple and now we are going to add another cream so we're flying through this um, well the tutorial's long but <laughs> we're actually flying through the actual um, cravat it's not a, a long stitch it's very quick and easy isn't it so we are going to put a double crochet v stitch oh so far away sorry guys into that very last spot right there 
and then we are going to put our double crochet on the top of that chain remember at the end of the row that we've been doing don't put it all the way through because we are going to change threads again okay pop that through there whoops pop it through there hold it there grab your ends again like you've been doing all along turn and chain up two one and two and then you do a double crochet in that stitch right there or in that space as you've been doing it your double crochet v stitch sorry guys just pop it in the space spacers <laughs> spacers all the way across okay now best part about this part at the end of this row we're going to add our purple again speaking of which <laughs> let's give it let's cut the purple <laughs> that I keep forgetting to cut <laughs> let's cut the purple so at the end of this row we are going to add our purple again and then once we add that purple we are going to do 15 rows of purple before we add the white again that's the best bit 15 rows of purple I don't know how long it'll take me to do 15 rows of purple whether I'll get that tutorial done tonight I probably will because hey that's what I do two now we're not going to do the whole cravat tonight we're only going to do part one of the cravat part two we'll be joining our cravat together and part three or maybe we'll do the join I'm sorry we'll probably only just do the join and the uh, border because it's a very basic step I think actually it is you'll only do two parts to this tutorial um, oh I just split the yarn there I said we are going to put our double crochet in that very last chain right there pull it through two loops and hold it there grab your purple again I know we've got a few ends to weave in but only for the lower parts of the cravat not the whole thing okay grab your purple pull it through and again you're getting all those loops right there and you're holding it there okay turn chain one and two double crochet v stitch in your first set there double crochet v stitch in your next set there and just pull up a loop for a minute because we're going to firstly we're going to cut this white <laughs> cut the white off because you're not going to need it for 15 rows woohoo okay bring that out a little bit and that's what you should have so far let me get our original we can marry it up and have a look okay there you are okay the only difference about the original and this one is that I've given an extra row of double crochet V stitch stitches here I think it looks better and once we put the border on it won't look as scrunched up as that because I wanted to give it the lower look effect so sometimes I do projects and I notice it at the end that I would like it done a, a particular way so I change it to suit and that's the only change I've made is add that extra row in the beginning okay so what you're going to do now oh actually I shouldn't do this I'll show you there you go you are going to add 15 rows of your purple okay um, and when you come back we will do our final cream row and I'll explain what you're going to do next very very exciting yay <laughs> I know we've waited a long time for this it's finally come okay so go and add your 15 rows and I'll meet you back Alrighty, here we are at the end of our 15th row so what you have initially done is that okay you've done your two rows in the beginning then you've done your one row of the cream four rows of the purple one row cream four rows purple one row cream 15 rows purple and now we're going to do one row of the cream 
getting exciting, guys? Yes, it is. Pop all this out the way so we can see. Alrighty. There we are at the end of our row. Okay, and you've got to do your normal double crochet V stitch in that very last spot right there. And then you're going to do your double crochet on top of the last chain that's quite loose this time. Whoops, don't finish off your double crochet because you're going to add your cream yet again. Now this is the best part, guys. It'll be the last time you add the cream for this part of your cravat, okay? And I'll explain what you do after you add this cream, but turn your work, hold all your ends in place so it can be nice and tight, and then one and two, and then you start your double crochet V stitch in that spot right there where you've been doing it all along. So far, so good. Um, the item is coming out, or your project is coming out gorgeously. Mine is a little smaller. I don't know if you did the smaller size or if you did the larger size from um, the beginning of the tutorial. Tutorial to tutorial. Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, but whether you did the larger size or the smaller size, in width that is, not the length, in the width, um, it'll still come out nicely. Okay. And again, it, it's all about taste and whether you want your cravat to be wide like the red one or a little bit thinner like the purple one. Personally, when it comes to cravats, I like them a little bit thinner. Um, too thick can kind of look oh, wintry and bulky. And we need to give it an autumn, springy, summery kind of look rather than a massive winter look. Even though here in Melbourne, Australia, we are heading into winter. And let me tell you, today was the one of the most coldest days. <laughs> Yesterday and today were the coldest days of the year so far. <laughs> nasty cold, nasty, nasty. <laughs> But we have to have them, guys. Can't be perfect weather all the time. Okay, we're in our last cluster set there. And guess what I forgot to do, guys? I forgot to cut that purple before, didn't I? So I'll give it a cut so we can use it. Okay, so um, there's your little last double crochet V-stitch. You're going to put a normal double crochet in that stitch right there. Hold it there, grab your purple, or whatever colour you're using. I'm using the purple and the cream. I don't know what you're using, guys. I would love to see it. So if you want to flash your um, cravat on Facebook at some stage on my um, Wow Crochet page, the link will be in the description box down below. You're welcome to do that. So we have done the purple. We're going to turn, chain up one and two. And do our double crochet V stitch in the white. Now, also, guys, I will be having a written pattern for this particular um, cravat, but it won't be for about another week or so, or two weeks or so. So don't get too excited, guys. But it is coming. This is the only pattern that I have a written pattern already available. But I have to get it up on PDF and have to get it uploaded on our stores on a Ravelry and. Oh, by the way, I've forgotten. I actually have a Ravelry store, <laughs> but I haven't got any patterns up there yet, guys. Um, there you go. Now, we're going to stop for a minute because I want to show you something. And this is what you're going to get excited about in a minute, I hope. Well, I know I get excited. I get excited all the time, don't I, guys? You're thinking, this woman's crazy. She's always excited. <laughs> all right. So, there you go. This is what you have so far. All right. That is what you have so far. All right. See, this one's a little tiny bit thicker, and this one's a lot thinner, a lot in width. But again, the cravat does look good. I can't express it enough. The cravat does look good, a little bit thinner. Okay, when I showed you in the, um, what do you call it, in the uh, promo, I found the scarf a little bit thick. All right, but that's okay. You can make yours as thick as this. I'll give you the, the actual option at the beginning of the tutorial how to make it a little bit bigger than this one. Uh, so, what you have done, you've done all your rows that you need to do for your creams. Now, best part is, you are going to do your purple double crochet V-stitch rows for another 30 rows. Okay? Another 30 rows. However, guys, I'm not going to let you sit there and watch me do 30 rows. 
<laughs> That's ridiculous thinking. But I'll tell you what I will do. I'll do this last row for you for a minute because I want to show you something before I finish off for this particular tutorial, which is part one of our um, cravat. Let's just finish off this row. Okay, nearly there, nearly there. Right. One more set in there. And what we're going to do, let's pretend that we are at the end of our 30th row. You're going to do your normal double crochet in there. Finish it off. Cut your thread. Actually, don't. I'm sorry, finish it off like that. Then pull a loop through. Then pretend like we've cut our thread, which we haven't, <laughs> because I still want to do my 29 rows. Um, and then put it aside, leave it there, and start your other side. Okay? And I explain in the promo why we have two sides to our cravat. So, guys, what I want you to do, continue and do 30 rows of your purple. Then do... Um, a second one exactly like this and I will meet you up for part two of this tutorial yay <laughs> not bad hey for a, a small whatever it is half an hour 40 minutes I don't know how long it's taken us to do this so keep going to do your 30 row pull that out the way do another one and don't cut it at the end of that other one and I will meet you up in a week's time to attach your two pieces together and then do the border. What can I say, guys? If you liked this part of the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe um, and hit the little bell button so you can receive further tutorials in your inbox. And don't forget, the next one will be um, our double crochet V-stitch blanket border part two. That's coming up probably in a couple of days' time. In the meantime, don't forget, finish your 30 rows, cut it, and then do a second piece up to your 30th row and wait for me there next week. Thank you so much for watching and guess what guys? Ciao for now.